Hello, this is Mike Yonkman, CIO, Anchor Star Wealth, giving you a five minute update for the week ending May 24th. I'm going to cover market recap, NVIDIA, earnings, Ethereum, approval, presidential elections coming up, and the core value of integrity within our company. But before I get started, be aware this is a financial education presentation. You must do your own due diligence on anything heard here. More information, disclaimer information can be found on anchorstarwealth.com and the opinions are mine and mine alone. I do wanna recognize this is Memorial Day weekend, so all gave some, some gave all. Definitely want to recognize our military veterans and those in the service now, as well as those from years past. First, for the week, uh, the Dow Jones hit 40,000 just a little bit ago, which is a big, exciting, big number. I'm not a big fan of using the Dow 30 because there's only 30 price weighted stocks in there, and it is driven way down by primarily one component, Boeing. Uh, which I'm sure you've heard in the news. So not a fan of the Dow, S&P 500, much more accurate, the 500 biggest companies in the United States by market cap. You can see that for the week, for the week it was uh, up hitting all time highs on Thursday and then took a big drop on the afternoon, Thursday afternoon, and then Friday recovered quite a bit, not quite to the all time highs, uh, that big drop was a sell-off across all sectors, despite NVIDIA's earnings, which we're going to cover, cover momentarily. The NASDAQ, if we look at the NASDAQ overall for the year, up uh, significantly, hitting all-time highs. But on, the week, on a weekly basis, you see the big drop as well, but it, it has reattained its highs. What made all this movement? The big drop was caused more by concerns from the Fed on inflation not coming down as much as expected. The good news was NVIDIA blew out earnings. This is their CEO, Jensen Huang, founded the company in 1993. Uh, earnings for NVIDIA, profits up 628% year over year. Uh, NVIDIA really took off uh, in November of 2022 with chat gpt getting released and the new focus and there's always been a focus on ai but certainly the application of ai and the need for these types of chips other news this week uh ethereum approved by the sec bitcoin had been approved back in january uh, ethereum was approved this week want to show you the difference between bitcoin and ethereum uh, Bitcoin is more of a store of value that should be should be a hedge against inflation. There's no guarantee, but uh, there's no more Bitcoins that are produced. There are some that are mined and released, but overall the number of Bitcoins is a fixed amount. Whereas other cryptocurrencies, they can produce more, therefore they could theoretically print more dollars. Um, not a good store, not as good a store of value. Um, Ethereum is used for complex transactions, so it's it's more in use than actually Bitcoin. Uh, we'll include below a link to Steve's uh, pros and cons of Bitcoin that was released a few months ago. If you're interested in learning more about Bitcoin, next item: presidential election year. You may or may not realize that. It seems like I have not heard as much about that this year, but what does the stock market do in election year? Not trying to compare Republicans versus Democrats, but overall in election years, uh, stock market up 11.58%. That's a pretty good return. Our market's up about that now, so that's we're off to a great start. Uh, you can see past returns. Even the big blip year in 2008, certainly not Obama's fault, but it was down because of the financial crisis. And also in 2020, I should point out, at one point in that year, the COVID year, uh, the stock market was down 33% or so, and by the end of the year, recovered and actually up 18%. So, uh, you know, you, you hardly can tell that when you look at th these stats. Last item I'm going to cover today, core values, anchor star wealth, integrity. We are financially, or fiduciary responsible, uh, therefore we act in your best interest. 
uh, question comes up, hey, does Anchor Star Wealth hold my money or hold my stocks or whatever? Absolutely not. Uh, Charles Schwab is the broker dealer that holds that. It's an account in your name that you manage and you can access anytime you want. Uh, we just have discretionary trading to, to do your investments. Uh, another question is, you know, hey, do you guys sell products? What do you, you know, how do you do your fees? We do not sell uh, insurance products or things that are trying to add to our fees in any way. Otherwise, we would not be fiduciary. So anyways, just thought I'd hit on that. And with that, I will close. One thing I, want, I do want to say is that each week we produce a morning show. This past week on Monday, we hit money angst and financial therapy. And the links should be below. On Tuesday, we hit Bitcoin and Ethereum, as well as the COVID stocks. If you remember Zoom, Peloton, Moderna, hit some of those. No, we're not investing in those, but but I just hit on what happened to them afterwards. Uh, Wednesday, mortgage rates, Target released their earnings. Thursday was huge because we were waiting on pins and needles to hear how NVIDIA did, which you heard they blew it out of the water. Uh, Steve talked about stagflation versus a vibe session so those might be new words to you they were to me um and then friday uh ticket master you love when you buy a ticket and you pay all those extra fees well you don't love it and the government doesn't love it either so the department of justice is suing live nation to break up a monopoly we'll see where that goes and then steve hits on some alternative investments with that i will close and remember our fallen heroes they are the reason that we are free thank you bye